Hey, what's going on? I'm Control at Destroy. Um, I got a few requests to make this tutorial, so I'm going to show you guys how to import some animations, uh, custom ones. Uh, keep in mind that I'm still pretty new at these tools. Um, I, I just learned how to animation import, uh, so this is the way I learned how to do it. So there might be there might be easier way to do things uh, in, during the process of importing, but I'm just going to show you the way I, I've been doing it. So let's get right into it. All right. First things first, make sure you have what you need. Uh, you know, Blender, Halo Mod Tools, Halo, uh, the Halo exporting uh, plugins for Blender. Uh, I'll link those in the description. Uh, what else do you need? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Also, another disclaimer. Uh, I'm sorry if I miss some stuff. Uh, I am not a pro at making tutorials. Uh, but I'll try my best. So let's say you wanted to make some animations for the assault rifle. So two things you're going to need. The assault rifle and the first person arms. And we can extract those straight from tool. So let's go do that. Alright, so you got tool open right here. What you're going to want to do first is grab your first person assault rifle. And that's going to be located and your Steam library where your Halo editing kit folder is. So you're gonna want to be, you're gonna want to go to tags, objects, weapons, rifle, assault rifle, FP assault rifle, and there's your render model. What you're gonna want to do is copy this part of your directory. Copy that. Go back into tool. Type in tool extract render data then right click and then that'll paste your directory then slash again and then FP assault rifle again okay you don't worry about these little errors right here that's fine uh, if you see this right here your model has been extracted and it'll be saved into your data folder okay so now that you got your assault rifle extracted, you're going to want to extract the first person arms. So you're going to want to do the same process, but you're going to want to change your directory to where your first person arms are located. And so where that is, is you go to tags, objects, and then where is it at? You go to characters, master chief, first person, and then there's first person render model. So copy that, go back in the tool, paste that, then another slash again, first person. Okay, so now your first person arms were extracted. Okay, we're gonna minimize, minimize. Okay, so now you got your blender scene, delete that shit. Then you're gonna wanna import and you got to want to make sure you have all these plugins here and uh, where you get these plugins will be in the description. So what you're going to want to do is import Halo Jointed Model Skeleton. Then, oh, where is it? So you're in a Halo 3 editing kit. Go to data, uh, uh, exclamation mark extracted. And then there's first person assault rifle render first person assault rifle JMS. Then boom, you got your assault rifle. All right, now let's import the first person arms. Okay. So you're just gonna wanna revert back a little bit and go down to FP, render fparms.jms. Okay, boom, you got your first person arms. Okay, you're not done yet. So what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna parent these together and basically turn them into one object. So, what you're gonna want to do, select your gun bones, and then shift click your hand ar uh, arm armatures, or your fucking first person arms. Fuck it. <laughs> and then uh, you're gonna want to hit Control J, then boom, your stuff is now joined. But there's still a problem. None of your stuff will move. As you can see here. If I go to pose mode and then do this, see, nothing moves. Don't panic. It's okay. Click your assault rifle. Click the bones. Control P. 
armature to form. Click your first person arms, bones, control P, armature to form. Then do a little test. Then boom, your arms move. Clip comes out, you're all good to go. Your stuff is now parented. Now, let's go ahead. Now, I'm only gonna make uh, one animation for this tutorial, so let's go ahead and set the scene up. I'll go ahead and fast forward this part. Oh yeah, before I forget, you're going to want to parent your right hand to your gun. So when you do that, what you're going to want to do is go into pose mode, find the gun, so frame gun. So now you're going to want to go back into edit mode, go down to your bones right here, this little green bone right here, click on relations, and then go to parent. And then you can either scroll down or type in B right hand, but I'm just going to go ahead and find it. So right here, B underscore R underscore hand. So then now that's parented. Okay. All right. Now that I got your scene set up, uh, let's go ahead and go right in the animating. Okay. So we were in layout. You're going to want to go into your animation tab. Then get your scene. Your scene's not going to look like this. You're not going to have a first person view automatically. You're just going to want to put your camera there. That's what I did. And then turned off all the bones. So, alright. What animation are you going to make? We're going to make a couple of them actually. So first we're going to make the idle animation. That's probably one of the easiest ones you, you can make. So set your thing to 100 frames. You can make this as long as you want honestly. But we're just going to go with 100 frames. So we're going to just do this by the base. We're going to just keep this pretty simple just to show you how to get them in the game. So what I usually do is select all of them. Insert all channel. Okay, then never mind. That didn't work. Insert. Okay, never mind. I guess that doesn't want to do it. So what I do is either just do that. Actually, I can just copy it. Just copy your keyframe there. Then you can go down to 50 frames and then put right, put that right there. See, and then there you go. You got a simple idle animation. But let's uh, let's give it a a little bit more variety here. So. Okay, so, all right, you got your idle animation. What you want to do is go to export Halo jointed model animation. You're going to want to go to your Halo 3 editing kit and go to data. Then you can, you can have this wherever. I'm kind of all over the place with my organization, so we're just going to put this straight in the data. Uh, we're going to call this uh, YouTube AR. Okay. So then you're going to want to name this, and these have to be specific names. So, this for an idle animation, 
for first person idle animation it has to be first person first first underscore person space idle then go up the game version ce mcc halo 3 and then jmm then export animation Just let it do its thing. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to make a simple melee animation just to show you that that it is a custom animation to make it more obvious that it's a custom animation. So, All right, so you got your blender scene, you got your clean blender scene. What you're gonna wanna do is select all your bones, drag your keyframe to 30, then we're just gonna, we're just gonna f just fuck it, dude. Just Okay, so what you're going to do, export as JMA, you got your first person idle. This one's going to want to be called first person melee strike underscore one. So first underscore person space melee underscore strike underscore one. Make sure that's Halo 3 MCC JMM. Export. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just put these in the game. It's not going to matter if you have missing animations. The game is just going to completely disregard those and just pretend like they don't exist. So, but if you do want like placeholder animations in the meantime, you can place an animation graph down and have that call to there. So anyway, so you got your stuff exported. So the animation part is done. What you're going to want to type in What you're going to want to type in is tool fp dash model dash animations dash uncompressed. And I mean, it doesn't have, you don't have to have the uncompressed part on there, but it's highly recommended because why would you want compressed animations? Question mark. Anyway, so tool fp model animations uncompressed and then YouTube AR and then exclamation point extracted oh extracted slash fp and then youtube ar oh uh looks like i did something wrong i forgot to put the animations folder in there so Please stand by. Come on, bear with me here, guys. I'm fucking, I don't make tutorials, okay? <laughs> Animations. Now I'll type in that command again. Okay. You usually don't get these warnings that say something about the switch. Um, 
that could be a problem, but sometimes not. Okay, so let's go test it out. So what you're gonna wanna do is open Gorilla. Go to objects, weapons, rifle, oh. Rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle dot weapon. Okay. Then go down to where first person is, then first person animations, click the three dots, then tags, YouTube AR, YouTube AR model animation graph. Save that, open Sapien, go into your little player mode thing. Yep, this is a little project I'm working on here. As you can see, we have the idle animations there. So let's put those down a little bit. Shit's, shit's gonna be in the wrong place, but that's okay. That's okay for now. Oh, just change the offsets a little bit. Anyway, that's that's good enough. As you can see, since I only imported two animations, it's only, it's only gonna play these animations. It's only going to play the idle animations and see like it, the game just pretends like these animations, the other animations don't exist. But as you can see, these are the animations we just made. As you can see here. All right, guys, uh, I hope that uh, will help you a little bit. I'm sorry I was kind of all over the place. I'm like I said before, I'm not a professional at making tutorials, but hey, I'm trying my best, okay? <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, I'm going to head out.